up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys on this halloween we are on our let's clash account guys our town hall eight and i'm removing this bush but um <laughs> i'm removing everything from my base uh right now i did have some trees on the outside but since i don't gym on this i need to get as many as i can so that i can boost my barracks and stuff like that but uh in this video today, we're going to go over some previous attacks, but first, we are going to uh, go on the attack. I'm going to try and find a base worthy of attacking, hopefully one that has a good amount of Dark Elixir in it. Uh, that last one had an okay amount, but I definitely want some uh, more gold and Elixir as well. So I'm going to go searching, not anymore, because we just found this, and this base looks like it could be pretty good. Um, where do we want to attack from? Uh, let's attack from this bottom portion down here. Let's go ahead and just drop off a couple of archers on the <clears throat> on the town hall right there. Let's go ahead and get in here. We'll drop off a couple of wall breakers. Hopefully that mortar doesn't hit them and they get in. Good job. Good job, guys. There's going to be giant bombs in there. I knew that they would be in there uh, just because you can tell by the way that, that whole section is laid out. Um, but we do want our giants to head into the center a little bit more. Come on, guys. Come on in. I don't want those going over there. <laughs> so we want them to we want them to turn around and head towards that mortar. Uh, that wizard's not doing too much damage to them, but both of those wizards will. So I'm going to go ahead and drop off that heal spell right there, and we are going to get those giants up in there. They're going to take some damage from those bombs, but again, they're going to recover pretty well from that heal spell, hopefully. Um, and now they're just going to sit over there, beat on those walls for a little bit, and we really, really need, I'm going to take out this mortar right here, um, <clears throat> we really, really need our archers to get in here, and there they go, we want them to head right in there towards that dark elixir storage, and then they should take out that Tesla as well, uh, as long as they get in there fast enough, come on, take out the Tesla, if they take out the Tesla next, then they should go in there for those gold mines. There was a spring drop there that just took out a whole bunch of them. But we should be good to go um, when it comes to the center of this base now. That mortar, the only thing that we might have trouble with is this mortar up here. Uh, our king's working his way around the outside, but we have a bunch of archers sitting in here in the middle. Once they take out this clan castle, hopefully they will tick away at the walls. There they go. They're all shooting at the same wall. The mortar is distracted, but if... He's not going to be distracted anymore. No, please, get as much gold as you can. Steal the gold. <laughs> get as much gold as you can. All right, so we got we got the Dark Elixir that we wanted. Uh, we got 63%, so we got the loot bonus on that. Um, 730 Dark Elixir, not bad. I'm fine with that. 158,000 gold. Nice. That is exactly what we're looking for. Um, my plans for this base, guys, some of the guys in the clan were saying it earlier. Um, I'll tell them to say hey to YouTube. Uh, say hey to YouTube. Um, <clears throat> some of the guys in the clan earlier were asking me what I was planning on doing, and uh, I'm gonna max out this base for sure uh, because I want to have a max town hall eight with all walls, with my king at level ten, and all that kind of stuff. Just because I think it'll be pretty cool, um, and then that'll uh, lend its way to some pretty sweet series in the future. So. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with the same attack strategy because that strategy has been working really, really well for me. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple more um, attacks as well in just a second. Uh, one from here and one. So if you guys want to use that same strategy, here's the build for it. Uh, 5, 2, and 21. And it works pretty well. Let's go ahead and watch this last one. This one right here was an awesome find. Crazy, crazy loot on this base. 326,000 gold, 315,000 elixir. Um, this strategy didn't really work that well with this. Like if I'd had Barch, it would have been perfect for this. Um, but with all these giants, we lost a bunch of DPS. So uh, DPS is damage per second. So we lost a bunch of DPS with the giants as they were working their way around. Um, but we were still able to spread them out uh, pretty well and get our archers and barbarians up in there. We can fast forward a little bit. You've already seen that we've gotten the majority of the loot right there. And it's only left in those pumps right there, that pump, and then this elixir uh, pump right there also. So we're just slowly working our way around with the giants going in. I dropped off some wall breakers to try and get some of the troops on the inside to those uh, storages right there. But for the most part, we uh, got 
We got a good amount of loot. 267,000 gold, 277,000 elixir. That is awesome. That's over 500,000 in resources. And I love, love finding bases like that. Um, why don't we go ahead and watch this one as well. This is a barch attack, but uh, I was actually able to get into the dark elixir, which is exactly the reason that I attacked this base. So uh, that mortar down there was super exposed and the other ones aren't spread out too well. This mortar up here uh, isn't really protecting anything. Uh, so I wouldn't have my mortar right there. I would have put one of them in the middle um, and these side ones should be a little bit closer But we just drop off all of our barbarians and our archers We drop off the king to kind of be a little bit tanky in there And then you can see that we'll fast forward it a little bit get them up in there There come the clan castle troops and we drop off a lightning spell right? Where is it? Come on lightning spell right there to take all of them out our king is in here, our archers are in here, and they're like, oh, is that Dark Elixir? And they go in and they take all of the Dark Elixir for me. So um, that is exactly what I wanted from that attack. We didn't get that much loot otherwise. Uh, you can see that the archers are still working their way around in the middle. A couple of giant bombs did some work. We got uh, an okay amount of gold from it as well. Obviously, I'm always happy with getting 100,000 or more uh, with Barch. Uh, so that was great. We are working our way up to upgrading our king up to level 5. We're going to need uh, 9 more thousand dark elixir. But with this attack strategy, that should only take about uh, 12 attacks maybe, um, if I can find the right bases. So we're doing really, really good there. Uh, definitely enjoying this new strategy and attacking with it. But we have to upgrade our Teslas uh, still, and we have to upgrade our walls and we have a couple more things to research. Uh, we can also upgrade our clan castle, but, um, oh, nobody said hey, awesome. All right, fine guys, fine, I see how it is. I, it's not their fault, I'm not on that much talking in this clan, I need to be um, mainly on in the main one and eliminate, but why don't we go ahead and upgrade one of these Teslas up to level five, nice. It's gonna take eight days, and um, then what can we do with our Elixir. I believe that all of the are all of our all of our barracks are maxed. Yep, all of I always forget because I have so many accounts. I forget what I've maxed out and what I haven't. Um, so we need to also upgrade our uh, Pekka's eventually and our rage spells as well as our minions. But I'm not going to be using minions too much. Uh, oh hi, <laughs> stuff. That's funny. Um, but I'm going to use. Uh, let's go ahead and use. A million of this elixir and upgrade some of our walls walls are gonna be big I'm gonna max out every single wall in this space. So I'm super super stoked about that But that's gonna be it for this episode guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing those crazy raids We got a lot of loot 158,267 um, 123 and then a good amount of dark elixir as well about one um, a little over 2,000 dark elixir so we're doing good, but that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope that you guys have a safe, fun Halloween. I wish that I could trick or treat. I might just go scare some people, but uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.